now we are going to study how to divide a circle using protractor this is a circle of 4 cm radius now uh, from the center of the circle draw a line or, or draw a radius on the circle so from the point to the circle draw a radius so after that now this is the protractor you all know there are two markings on the protractor from one side 0 to 180 from the other side also is beginning from 0 to 180 and now the highest measurement in the protractor is 180 and the least measurement of a protractor is 1 degree this is the midpoint of the protractor that is the line baseline and the altitude line joining point that is the midpoint of the protractor so that point you have to keep on the center of the circle so correctly on the center you have to keep the midpoint of the protractor and the baseline of the protractor must be on the this line on the line which you draw it must be correctly we must when you look it must not be like this you can see the line here now so when you look from the top we must not see the line in such a way you have to keep the protractor now you cannot see the line so from the center the protractor should not move when you keep you have to keep it correctly on the center and the line after that from there you can mark this is the line so the mark uh, which side the line is uh, on that side zero you have to take so the line is extended towards your right so the that side no line so from the right side your right side the line is towards your right so zero from the right you have to start zero you can see zero 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90. Like that way you have to go from 0. Now you are going to 10, 20, 30. Now suppose you are going to mark 30 degree. So you put a point on the line 30 degree. That line you put a point outside. And remove your protractor. Take the scale. Keep the scale in such a way that that point which you put and the center of the circle are in a straight line. Keep adjust and keep it like that way. Then from the circle, not from the point, from the circle you draw the line towards the center. Like this. Understood? So you must not extend the line outside. Now after marking, this is the way you mark angle inside you draw one curve mark like this and you write 30 degree like this this is how we measure 30 degree you can do other part also like this 